So the demand function for good is given as Q is equal to 36 minus 3P. What will be the maximum price for quantity? Again, put maximum price for quantity Q. So when price is zero, right, then you have the maximum quantity. And when quantity is zero, you have the maximum price. So if you put Q as 0, your P will be 36 by 3, which is 12. So this will be your answer. It's asking maximum price. So I will put quantity as 0. When I have 0 units being demanded, I'm charging the maximum price. Right. Okay. Now come to the next question. What will happen if supply elasticity is less than demand elasticity? I just told you. When we were doing that tax example. So when supply elasticity is less. As compared to demand elasticity. This is less. This means that demand is more elastic. Which means that a small change in price. Can cause huge change in the demand. So if you will see a huge decrease in demand when you tax the consumer. You don't want to tax consumer a lot. So consumer will be a less burden and producer will be a more burden. In, uh, you know, public economics, there is this derivation. I think so it is in Musgrave and Musgrave. It's a very good book of public economics. They have derived exactly the value of the deadweight loss due to tax. Right. And they have stated that this deadweight loss of tax, it actually is dependent on two things. It depends on the square of the tax charge. And it depends on the elasticities. So square of the tax charge means what? That if you double your tax rate, if the government doubles tax, dead weight loss will become four times. So tax is that much impactful for the dead weight loss. And then it definitely says how elastic your demand and supply is. If people don't change their demand at all when tax is imposed, then I'm fine, right? Because then I'm selling the same quantity as earlier. So these are the two factors that your deadweight loss depends upon. So coming back to this question, if you have more elasticity, then you will be a less burden of the tax. So the answer is A.